Welcome to the Sergia YouTube channel. My name is Jorge and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create parametric bodies. Sometimes you can use something very simple such as a cylinder or a body box, but sometimes you need some more advanced ge geometries and you don't have access to very advanced CAD softwares or maybe it's the other way around. You want to somehow constrain your uh, design or your design space and you want to use Modelica or some kind of simulation software to find the forces that your system will see depending on the bodies that you have. In this case I have something similar to a propeller but you can see that the blades are different and they change in shape. So this would be our model. You can see that there is a world component where we attach a revolute with an initial angular velocity and that it can rotate about the x-axis. The cylinder has just a distance between the frames and there is nothing else changed. So it's very simple. Then we have two fixed rotations attached to the frame B that are going to provide some rotation to our blades to have the angle that we desire. In this case I'm following the sequence first Z then Y and then X being these angles in degrees but this depends on your needs then I have these two custom components that I have created that are called parametric blade instead of writing the code at the same time uh, I go through it in the video I wrote it beforehand so I can explain each line of code and you can choose whatever you may need so this first line defines a parameter called length total that will be the total length of our blade let's take for instance one meter in this case then it's going to be a parameter that needs to be an integer because it will be the number of segments that we will use to divide our blade being the minimum number of segments one and the number that I have by default three then I have another parameter that in this case is an array or a vector. I define all the values in this vector using lean space, which takes as the first value, some value that we desire, 0 0.1 in this case. The last value will be 0 0.05 in this case and the number of values that we will use is going to be the number of segments that we have here. That's why it needs to be an integer. Now, our component needs to have a frame if we want to connect it with other multibody components. So you can find it here. Then we will need several body boxes. However, if we need to add them by hand every time we want to use the component, then it becomes too long and too difficult and we won't have uh, some kind of default component that we can reuse and reuse and reuse. So you can see that I have the usual multibody component body box with the name here. And instead of having another one, that I had before, I define 
an array of body boxes and again this is why I needed the parameter segments to be an integer because we will use it to define the number of body boxes in our array then we need to define the geometry of each of these body boxes if I click on this body box you can see that there are some parameters such as the length the distance between the frames the width or the height with the length width and height we will define the geometric properties of our body box so to define them for each one of them we will need some special commands the height we can define just by going through the different values from 1 to the number of segments and the height would be this definition this equation or this way of defining it we can change you can take the values from uh, the heights that we created before that I had as an example or you can define the equation like this in any case uh, this is just for showing our example for the moment we will use this equation and then I will replace it with the values that we have from the heights so you can see how to do it then we need to replace or define each and this word is key here we need to define each of the R's as for instance the total length divided by the number of segments and then again we use each to define each of the widths as some value here this value you can change to whichever value you prefer or use another equation like I did over here or whatever you may need then the trick here to be able to use this array of body boxes is first we need to connect the frame A that we added the frame A component to the frame A of our first body box you can see the one here and then we will use a for loop to define all our connections you can see that starting starting from one I go from the body box in this case the first one will be body box one the frame B to the next body box just be careful to go from the first segment to the last one minus one and this way we will connect all our body boxes together then you can save this model so it becomes a component and then you can simply attach it change the number of segments and simulate your model again just to see how the blades change now after simulating you can see that now we have one blade with the original two meters the other one still one meter but it has way more segments as I define six we can see that there is six of them now as I promised I'm going to use the array of heights to define our blade let's 
Let's simulate again and see how it changes. As you can see, the last segment is not as thin as before. One of the th good things of having lean space like this is just, for instance, this blade, we could change the number of segments to five. And define the array of heights ourselves. We validate and we see that it's correct and simulate again. Now you can see that we have a blade that first grows and then it becomes way smaller. In this case we are using a very little number of segments but you could use more similar to the finite element approach and get a very good approximation of the properties or the inertias for your body which is usually very difficult to obtain but in this case using very small segments you can build a more complex geometry that could be more useful for you Thank you so much for watching and see you in future videos.